Since man landed on the moon, countless conspiracy theories have surfaced all over the web. Some so virulent, they spread like a virus, seeping into many areas of the media. Some of these theories, predictably, hold more water than others. Some claim we never went to the moon. This regardless of the proof that has continued to surface over the years. NASA claims to have lost the telemetry from the moon landings also. The motive behind this claim is unclear. Yet no matter how unlikely, they continue to claim that it has been missing for decades. Conspiracy theorists often overlook the astonishing contributions which NASA has also made to modern society. Yet some theories actually claim a literal polar opposite of moon landing conspiracies. These not only agree that we did indeed land, walk, and even drive on the moon, but claim we have been back in secret and to explore a rather astonishing thing. According to numerous sources, the most compelling of said claims began on YouTube, with the release of some extraordinary CGI footage of a claimed moon landing and the exploration of a simply gigantic alien spacecraft. Due to the moon being so difficult to reach, and the fact that anything which either crashed, landed, or was possibly even abandoned on the moon, even billions of years ago, would have been preserved in an incredible condition. In April 2007, videos began appearing on YouTube under the username RetireDafB, telling the extraordinary story of a supposed Apollo 20, a secret lunar mission that had discovered the existence of intelligent alien life on the moon. Then, on May 23, 2007, Italian UFOologist Luca Scantaburlo managed to secure an interview with an individual who claimed to be the creator of the channel, a man by the name of William Rutledge, who later claimed to be, in fact, himself a retired secret American astronaut, who at the time was living in Rwanda. Rutledge claimed to be the commander of the Apollo 20 crew and to be the owner of the retired DAFB account. However, the interviewer never met Rutledge in person, as the interview was conducted over Yahoo Messenger. During the interview, however, Rutledge claimed that Apollo 20 was a top-secret mission, launched in mid-August 1976 from Vandenberg Air Force Base near Santa Barbara, California. He also claimed that it was conducted jointly by the United States and the former Soviet Union. He also alleged that other missions were made by American astronaut Leona Snyder, a now-established fictitious persona, and former Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, the first human to perform a spacewalk. The purported landing site of the mission was near Gaio Crater, a feature near the much larger Del Porte Crater. Rutledge said the videos show that he and Leonov discovered the remains of an ancient lunar civilization. He also said they brought back artifacts to Earth for study, including a hibernating female humanoid. It is a story which we found highly compelling. China's Yu-2-2 rover, currently exploring the surface of our moon, has exposed an intriguing discovery, a mysterious object that many are labeling the hut. It is a cube-shaped curiosity which oddly just appears to be resting upon the moon, as if once placed. In previous videos, we have examined similar anomalies many believe to be obelisks. We can visit other people with their habitation. We can keep track. If there's something very important to be developed from the moon, together we can explore the moon and develop the moon. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by to comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. There's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? With even Buzz Aldrin himself claiming there to be a monolith on Phobos, one of Mars' moons, and there is indeed a mysterious object resting on the surface of this mysterious satellite. A moon, which not only appears to be hollow from one side, but is on a decaying orbit which does not make sense, almost as if it were a ghost of the past. Earthly calculations revealing that the moon should have disintegrated into Mars long ago. 
Yet, the moon still exists, along with its mysterious so-called monolith. Yet, I digress. The thing that makes these objects so interesting is how they seemingly appear to have once been placed where they have rested for untold millennia. No contact trail, no debris, dust plume, or disturbance at all, and most importantly, no crater of any form. Unfortunately, however, according to Chinese space officials, it may be a long time before the rover reaches the object, if at all. One major reason is that U-22 isn't active most of the time. The solar-powered spacecraft cannot operate during the 14-and-a-half Earth-day-long lunar night, nor for roughly 24 hours after sunrise and before sunset. U-22 also stays offline during lunar noon, as temperatures at that time can reach 127 degrees Celsius. What is this object? Further photographic study and detailed research into its precise location needs to be undertaken. It is an object which we find highly compelling. There are many theories which orbit the Apollo space missions. However, apart from the obvious moon hoax claims, there are many other baffling tales surrounding these missions. Surrounding not only a proof to the validity of the programs, but also a seemingly transparent approach to presumably many, although we would never believe all, of the anomalies that the American Space Agency encountered during those incredibly expensive yet highly successful missions. Watched by nearly everyone spinning around on our small globe. One very few lucky enough to travel away from like to call the blue marble. There are many unexplained images that have been snapped of the moon by NASA. Some claimed as showing nothing like that of the famous pyramid we have covered in the past seemingly rediscovered on an image once claimed by NASA as an overexposed image. Yet there are many other anomalies and objects NASA neither confirm nor deny the existence of, yet still release said images to the world. They do not deny and equally accept that many they cannot explain. The Shard This image is a 44-time enlargement of a lunar orbiter frame coded LO384M. Taken with a medium resolution camera at a distance of at least 250 miles, it shows an object dubbed by Richard Hoagland as the Shard. Interestingly, although some have dismissed the object as a simple camera malfunction, the Shard also possesses a shadow correctly aligned with the position of Saul at that time. According to Hoagland, quote, poor resolution images like this one of the Shard have led some to conclude it is an ephemeral outgassing event. However, the Enterprise mission enhancements reveal no spray or splatter, which would be consistent with such a conclusion. He goes on to state, the object appears to be solid, though badly battered by meteors. End quote. Above and behind the shard is the tower, another among this collection of mystifying images of apparent lunar objects. The tower has been researched and studied by many people since its discovery among NASA's images. A massive structure, calculated as being an incredible 7 miles high, this estimation clearly makes any consideration that the tower is indeed a real structural anomaly, soaring from the lunar surface a tough pill to swallow. Yet the images remain an incredibly difficult thing to explain, and the tower's cuboid feature atop just adds to this ongoing mystery, yet one of deep intrigue, is the mystery of Castle. The name given to an object captured by the Apollo 10 astronauts during the Moon Orbit mission, codenamed AS-10-32-4822. It is of a one-mile-long object floating miles above the lunar surface, like a satellite to our satellite, that, even more amazingly, is possibly like that of what makes Saturn's rings that being ice crystals of pure water, is apparently, according to future enhanced image study, also made from a material alike glittering glass. Apart from the reports of strange music being heard on the far side of the moon, a claim few will ever be able to confirm the truth of, this extraordinary object is something very few know of, and even less have studied. Unless more attention is given to such incredible anomalies, 
ones witnessed by us already, and so relatively close to our little home, we may never know what they are. They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling. The Mars Exploration Missions launched in 2003, successfully landing two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, on the Red Planet. The mission's objective was to search for clues to pass water activity on Mars. The mission also included three previous landers, the two Viking program landers in 1976 and Mars Pathfinder probe in 1997. Both rovers were given an expected lifespan of just 90 days due to the notorious dust storms present on the surface. Spirit lasted an incredible seven years, surviving until 2010, yet mysteriously, Opportunity is still functioning to this day. This is due to several events which have become known as cleaning events, which over that last 14 years have been mysteriously cleaning the rover's solar panels. Designed to go offline during the night to save energy, it is during these hours that something, or someone, has been helping to keep our rovers running. Opportunity has since been given five mission extensions, which it has successfully completed. In July 2007, during the fourth mission extension, severe Martian dust storms blocked sunlight to the rover and threatened the ability of the craft's survival. However, when the dust storms lifted, they revealed that something had cleaned the rover of nearly all debris. On May 1, 2009, during its fifth mission extension, Spirit became stuck in the soft soils of Mars. After nearly nine months of attempts to get the rover back on track, including test rovers on Earth, NASA announced on January 26, 2010 that Spirit was retasked as a stationary science platform. Strangely, it seems, because the rover was not moving, it missed subsequent cleaning events, leading NASA to lose contact shortly after. Most recently, Opportunity has seen a surge in energy after a cleaning event in March, the Martian month coincidentally resulting in a power boost of 70% when compared with power levels at the start of this year. And now mission scientists have released a self-portrait photo of the Mars rover. When compared with the dust coverage at its worst, the difference is nothing short of dramatic. Having just survived its sixth Mars winter, thanks to the most recent cleaning event, Opportunity now has solar panels that are as dust-free as they were when they entered the Martian atmosphere. Just what exactly has been cleaning the rovers on Mars? Covert astronauts? Or maybe it's aliens? Whatever it is, we may never know.